it's Tater here and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a 3D Mudkip pixel art. Now I've got all the steps laid out here and you'll notice there's a few different dots and those are where each each previous layer goes. Now I have a friend who is hearing impaired so these, these signs are for him. We're going to start by placing the legs. You're going to place two blocks, skip five blocks and place two more next to them. And you're going to go back three and place two more behind each of those. The next step, the buttons show you where the feet are from the previous step, which are these. Then you're going to go ahead and from the back feet, which are the ones that way, right next to them you're going to draw or pull, pull, place some blocks from the back all the way up to the front, minus one block then fill the whole middle with white blocks. Now when you have this step, this one goes on top, so from this step you should have this right here. The next step is this. As you can see we've got that step on the dots. So right here where the legs would be, we're going to place our corners again, build the legs up, then we're going to connect those lines just straight across. And then we're going to have this next layer all filled in in the middle, except for two in the front, which we're just going to do one more layer. For the back, we want the inside by one, pulled back one. And then we're going to fill in the rest with white. Now we start adding the cheeks. With the previous layer being the first row right there, is right here. We're going to add a T-shape for kind of like a chin. We're going to add one on each side and then we're going to put one and then a diagonal diagonally from it we're going to make a small T. And the same on the other side. Then we're going to fill in the rest with the opal. And from one of the T's, it's a five block towards the back. And then after the fifth block, you're going to go in diagonally one, three whites, and then three more whites connected from the middle of that. I'm not going to fill in the center parts. That'll be for you guys. But if you leave them empty, you'll just have a hollowed out version of the mud kip. The next step if this is where that chin part was, you're going to take it out one and go three across, go back diagonally one, switch to the orange for the cheeks, Whoops, and then you're going to go diagonally two more. You're going to add three more back so you'll have four. Next you're going to add two, toward, uh, going diagonally inside one and then repeat that last step. Now you just do one and then you throw three more straight or four more straight back. The next step is just directly on top of the last step right here. So they will be placed right there. Then you go diagonally back one, throw in three diagonals of a cheek, repeat on the other side. And go in for two more. Just go straight in with no diagonal. And then one diagonal out and straight across. And then you gotta skip three blocks and place one blue four white because that's going to be part of the tail. Then you should have about this right here. Now that you've got that, we're gonna start adding the eyes. So Let's put three blocks for the nose. There. Then we're going to add two black blocks for the eyes. Now we're going to put one more uh, blue block towards the back and then add the rest of the cheeks. Now we're just going to go diagonally back three on each side and then connect it in the middle. And then skip three blocks, put two blue and two white. After that, 
you're going to bring the nose up one more row and then you're going to repeat where we put the black box blocks but with blue or white instead go back one diagonally out and then go back three more and then from the third one back of the four that you just put you're going to skip one and put an orange next just connect the back ones by going diagonally back two and connect the middle like you did in the last one skip four blocks this time put a white and then two blue next we're going to start working on the top of the head because we've got this headless, or headless uh, mud kit missing his brain so right above right above the kind of eyebrow forehead area if this is going to be what it is you only put the middle one instead and then you make it you pretty much turn that into a T bring it out one more on each side pull it back one and then make it wider by two by going out one on each side go back again and then bring it in and then go diagonally and connect it Next, you skip five, add two. And then you're going to go in from two from the front part. You're going to go ahead and add three wide, pull it back, three back, and then straight across from the back. And then we can start on the head, which is pretty much just this little flap. So right from the center, one in the front, one in the back, we're going to go up just like this. And that should be your mudkip right there.